Hey guys, for today's look, I'm going to be doing a blue and green smoky eye, and I'm going to be going in with my CeraVe moisturizing lotion, and then my Garnier BB cream, and I'm going to be using this as a primer because it covers up a lot of my redness and has really good coverage, and I'm going to be buffing this out with my Morphe M439 brush. Then I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in shade 128 and I'm just going to be buffing this in with the same brush but this has really good coverage especially if you have oily skin because it has more of a mattifying effect so I really like this foundation. Then I'm going to be using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the brightening shade and putting this under my eyes in a triangle shape and then I'm going to be buffing that in with the same brush. Then I'm going in with my CoverGirl Loose Powder in Translucent and my Beauty Blender and setting my under eye area and then going in with my Morphe S10 brush and setting the rest of my face. Now I'm going to be filling with my brows with my Brow Elf Cream and brush and I didn't show the other eye because that eyebrow wasn't working out really well but this eye worked out really well so I showed you this one. And then I'm going to be setting my brows with my Essence Clear Brow Gel. Next I'm going to be using my NYX Cream Contour Stick and I'm going to be contouring my cheekbones, my nose, my jawline, and my forehead. And I really like cream contouring because it blends out really well and adds a nice dewy look for spring. I did notice though that I put my setting powder on before I put my cream contour on and you should always put creams on before powders because it can make it look really cakey and it can make it really hard to blend out. But because I didn't put a lot of setting powder on, it blended out totally fine. And I'm just going to be buffing this in with my foundation brush that I've been using, uh, my Morphe M439 brush. Then I'm just going in to set that with my Physician's Formula Mineral Bronzer and a bronzing brush. Now for blush, I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics Professional Blush Palette and I'm going to be using this orange shade and a pink shade because I read online that if you use an orange before your blush, it'll make it stand out more. And then I'm going to be going in with my Lorac Pro Contour Palette and my Morphe, I'm not sure what brush this is, but it's my Morphe Fan Brush and I'm just going to be using the highlight shade in the Lorac Palette and this was so pigmented. I don't know if I forgot to tap off my brush, but it was so pigmented. Now I'm going to be using my Morphe 35S palette for this look. I'm going to be using that peachy shade at the top and I didn't show you what brush I'm using but I'm using my e.l.f. crease brush and I'm just going to be blending this all over my lid and my crease as a transition shade. Then I'm going in with this blue color and oh now I show you my e.l.f. crease brush and I'm going to be using a new technique that I found and it's actually you flick out the eyeshadow at the end instead of bringing it down with your crease you flick it out and it's supposed to make your eyes appear bigger I've never done it before but I really like how it turned out for this look and you'll be able to tell more when I use my next blue color but you can kind of see here I'm flicking it out Now I'm going in with this darker navy blue color and it looks really shimmery but it wasn't shimmery at all. It might be because I tapped off my brush but you can see here a lot better that I'm flicking it out instead of bringing it down with my crease and it's just supposed to make your eyes look a little bit bigger but I really like how it turned out for this look because then I used my flat shader brush here and this light green shimmery color and I put it all over my lid and I can totally tell that it helped open up my eyes instead of bringing that blue down into my crease and closing my eyes off. Here I'm just going in with a big fluffy brush and blending everything out. Now I'm just taking my flat definer brush and that same blue color and I'm just going to be pushing this into my lower lash line and I'm going to be putting it all the way into the inner corner. And here, I don't know why I didn't show you what I was doing, but I went in with that same light green shimmery color and I'm just blending this out. 
And then I'm going to be going in with this white color here and putting this in my inner corner of my eyes just to kind of brighten up my eyes a little bit because that blue was brought in a little too far and made my eyes look a little dark. Now I'm going in with my Urban Decay 24-7 eye pencil in the color Sabbath, which is just like a really dark blue. And I'm going to be lining my lower lash line and then I brought it up into my upper lash line a little bit. Then I'm going to be using my I Love Extreme Volume Mascara from Essence and putting mascara all over my upper and lower lashes, but you can totally use false lashes for this look. Then I wanted to add a wing and I went in with scotch tape and I'm going to be creating my wing with my e.l.f. cream eyeliner and my eyeliner brush from Ulta. And here I'm just going to be making my wing. I just wanted to darken up my waterline a little bit so I went back in with that Urban Decay eye pencil and then I added a little bit more bottom mascara. Then finally I'm going to be setting my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to share with your friends and subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.